Hey, welcome back friends. Two weeks ago, I was in the Home Depot and I picked up this Husky 52 inch adjustable height work table. So in this video, I'm gonna show you every single thing you wanna know about it. So let's get started. So it was about two and a half, three years ago that I seen this table for the first time in my local Home Depot and I posted some Instagram stories about it and two people I know, or maybe it was in my feed, two people I know had purchased that table after seeing that and later on said how amazing it is. So they offer this table in four different sizes, 46 inch, 52 inch, 62 inch and 72 inch. So the 52 inch just seems to be like the best fit for me and in my garage over here as far as storage and then actually having enough room because I plan on using this quite a bit in my upcoming videos when I'm doing some tool reviews. I like to be outside in the summertime. So this has, you can either have caster wheels on it down here or it has some self-leveling feet that you can put on too. Let me know which one you would get if you're considering purchase one of these. Okay, so right here is the handle, so you can go up or down. So if you have a lot of weight on here, it's not gonna really work trying to raise it. You're gonna have to have the table relatively empty to raise it up. So a nice thing is this handle right here, it comes off, and if you can see, it has a hex design to it right there. So if you get a fitting adapter for your drill, you could actually use a power drill to go up and down. Let me show you. So here's my adapter set up. So I just recommend that you go at your own risk doing this. You don't want to overpower it and strip anything out if you go too high or too low. So I just switch it over to reverse to go up and now it's in the forward position. That will lower it down. So I prefer when they get really low like that just to use the handle if you're going to try to go right to the very bottom. So my measurements with the caster wheels is just under 29 inches, like 28 and 7 eighths. So you can see at this height right here, you could easily have a sitting desk or a sitting workstation. Then if you like to stand, I was thinking I might put a little mark on there. So then when I see that mark, then I know to stop and then crank it maybe like four or five, oh yeah. There I did it, there's only two cranks left. So the overall height is 41 and three quarter inches. So if you're wondering how sturdy this is in the up position, you'd have to really put a lot of weight on it. It's gonna rock a little bit, but overall, it's, I'd say, a very sturdy table. And then let's take a look at the worktop right here. It's a very nice finished surface. All right, it has a weight capacity of 300 pounds. So if you look at the wood here, it's a hardwood. It's called either rubber wood or para wood. If you look it up, you'll just see it's uh, somewhere overseas where it's made, but it's definitely a hardwood. The thickness is 1.2 inches. And if you look at it, there's really a lot of options, like as far as clamping goes. That's something that I read in the reviews. People like it because you can clamp, maybe not so much on the ends here, but on the sides. There's all kinds of room to do some clamping. So I've also reviewed another Husky work table and the top right here, the finish is just held up really well. I really have been enjoying that in the garage, but over the last year with the situation of COVID, we needed to have a stand up work table for our home office. And right now it's temporarily being used for that. So this right here is just a really nice solution for me. The other heavy duty work table, I think that weighs like 138 pounds and it didn't have casters. This has casters. This I can easily move in and out of the garage myself. So I definitely like this background right here when I'm making videos. So here's the casters. They're very nice. They have a really nice grip. As I mentioned, they're all locking. So we'll just get a quick measurement. You can see 52 inches right in the money. And then the width, 24. So some people ask if you can have this table outdoors. I would say if, maybe just for the day, but I would, if it start to rain, I would bring it inside. But it would make a nice serving table if you had some type of event, or if you're grilling, or you could roll this next to your car if you're gonna work on it. You could set all your tools and all the parts on it. Right, Oakley? 
All right, so let's roll this in the garage and see how it works storing it with that work chest. All right, so now what we're gonna do is see how long it takes to go from the highest position to the lowest position, which is about 12 and a half inches. So I'll also count how many times, how many full revolutions you have to crank it. Okay, we're gonna get my stopwatch ready and go. And this isn't like a crazy pace. This is just, if you're doing this every day, this would be a comfortable pace. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say it was 23 and a half seconds. So now we're gonna see how long it takes to go all the way up using battery powered tools. Ready, set, go. And six seconds. So here's the other thing I'm gonna test. How many revolutions do you have to turn it to go all the way from the top to the bottom? One, two, three, four. Seventy-three. All right, so a couple more things to mention. So you can get this in either gloss black or white. And then if you want to get drawers for this, Husky offers a two drawer option, I believe. I've also seen some people said they prefer to just buy this than make their own drawers because then they can make them custom to their liking. So right here is a Husky five drawer cabinet that I reviewed. This has the same type of wood on top. Definitely is held up really well here in my shop. So if I want to store this against that wall right there, and then I want to store the work table, I can just raise the work table up high enough, and then you can see it will roll underneath it. And this cross beam right there, as I mentioned, if I push that all the way to right here, that table will go in another foot. Then I've also seen the Home Depot where they've taken another table like this or a smaller version table and have it just a little bit lower, and then they can slide that underneath. So when it comes to storage, the work table really works excellent. All right, I have a question for you. If you spend a lot of time at a work table or work desk, do you prefer to stand most of the day or do you prefer to sit or do you alternate back and forth? I know there's some desks that can go back and forth pretty fast, like this one right here, which might be a good option. So maybe like work one hour sitting, stand for an hour or 30 minutes and go back to sitting. So here's a quick thing that I found on the Home Depot website that has some health information. All right, I'm checking my notes here. Research shows that there are health benefits between standing and sitting throughout the day because it decreases body discomfort and increases the blood flow. It can also reduce your eye strain and boost your productivity. So there you go. All right, let's roll back outside. All right, so I hope I've been able to answer every single question that you have on this work table right here. To find out more, I'll have a link down below to the Home Depot where you could have it ship right to your door, you could have it shipped to the store and pick it up there, or maybe it's available in your store. I checked the state of Michigan right now and it looked like there were only like a few stores that had it in stock. So it's definitely a popular item. So my goal of this video is to test this table out and put it to the test so you can see if it's right for you in case you're considering the purchase of it. So if you find this video to be interesting, helpful, and informative, please give the video a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.